stop trying to time the market, guys. It's Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team, part of Real Brokerage. And this is maybe the biggest mistake I see people make when it comes to trying to buy a house. They try to time it and wait for the market to dip and inevitably they miss it and they miss it big. I remember back in 2017, guys, I had people tell me, Mike, I'm gonna wait to buy a home until prices go down. Well, those homes in 2017 are now worth 100% more on average than they were back then. So that person that's waiting is still waiting and is probably gonna be waiting for the rest of their life to buy a house if those are the conditions they kind of want to buy a home. So stop trying to time the market, okay? The best time to buy a home is when the timing makes sense for you. I wanna share with you three reasons why you should stop try, trying to time the market today so you can walk away from this video knowing that the right time is when it's best for you and stop trying to guess on when you should buy a house based on what the market conditions could be. The first reason you should stop trying to time the market is a home is a long-term investment. It is not a speculative one. This is not day trading on the stock market. Most people buy a home for stability, okay? So if you're buying a house, you're not planning to live there for at least three to five years, don't buy a home. The cost to sell a home is expensive. It's typically seven and a half to eight and a half percent to sell a house. You pay all the commissions for both sides. You pay the excise tax, even if you live there for a day. You paid some title and escrow fees. There's all sorts of costs you're going to have to sell a home. And guys, we know real estate on average goes up 3% a year. So if it costs eight and a half percent to sell, you gotta live it for three years to sell and not lose money, okay? So have a three to five year vision for owning a house before you even think about buying a home. If you don't think you're gonna be able to live there for at least that period of time, I would urge you to not buy a home. You don't wanna buy a house and then end up losing money when it comes time to selling or feeling like you can't sell it because you bought it at a certain price point. I cannot stress enough to you that a home is not a speculative tool, guys. It's a long-term wealth building tool and its primary function is to provide stability to your family, okay? So the first thing, just remember, this is a long-term investment and it's not a speculative one. The second one, a home's primary function is stability to the household, okay? It is a wealth building tool for sure. It will save you money and taxes for sure. It is definitely part of building long-term wealth. There's no question about that. Real estate is always gonna be one of the best investments on the planet, but its primary mission for your home, the home you're going to live in, is to bring stability to your family. Instead of having to move every year or when a when a landlord wants to sell their house, you have control of this house. You can stay there as long as you want, and you know your payment's gonna be fixed on that house if you've got a fixed mortgage on it. You're not gonna be susceptible to rent increases. And if you've got a family, you're not gonna be moving to school districts and cities every single year as your kids are growing up. So just remember that the primary function of a home is typically to bring stability to that household, okay? So that's number one and number two. The third one, the best time to buy a home. I get asked this all the time, Mike, when should I buy a house? Well, the best time to buy a house, like I said earlier, is when it's the right time for you, okay? The best time to buy a house was like five years ago, if you didn't buy a home like 60 years ago. The next best time is to buy it today, okay? Stop thinking, oh gosh, I'm just gonna wait for home prices to come down because they may never come down. And if you're like one of my clients back in 2017, you're still waiting for the home prices to come down, but they've actually gone up 100% since that time. So do not let temporary market conditions dictate when you buy a home, instead buy a home when it makes the most sense for you and your family, and when it makes financial sense for you as well. It is a great tool for stability, it's a great tool for building wealth, but ultimately the timing is 100% up to when it's the best timing for you, okay? Those are my top three reasons to stop timing the market and to also look at real estate as a tool for wealth building and a long-term investment that also brings stability to your family.